Hello there, everyone. It's Joe again. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a dramatic reading by this guy called Abre. <laughs> kind of sounds like Spanish for open. Anyways, here's his weird, sucky, set of great story that I'm going to read in a dramatic fashion. Deep in the dark freezing graveyard. In the house of the spirit, the night riders were planning their next move. Jill, sitting in the corner of her bedroom, using her black laptop to print her a map to her house. She was as thinking of what she calls main joke, the main show, the main event. She was going to break that into the house. The house they call the house of the spirit stories have been brewing up about that house for centuries and she was going to find out the cause of it. Rain was prowling around the house. She too was going to find about the house for centuries. Her ancestors had been the hunters of the kind that lived in that house. Vampires inhabited <laughs> that house. Rain carries a gun which she never needs to reload. <laughs> <laughs> this gun only carries one kind of bullet. This bullet is the silver bullet. Inside of the house, the being they call the spirit senses the human called rain. Only those who live inside this house know the true name of the spirit. His name is Virgil. Virgil has had the same red man for centuries. His name is Abraham. Abraham. It's one of the str strongest of the vampiric kind. Together, these two are called the Night Riders. My lord, you and I know that Rain, the daughter of the one who shot that horrid little silver bullet through the heart of your sister, is prowling outside the house of your ancestors, said Abraham. What does my master think we should do? Virgil speaks in a low yet elegant voice. Let us observe her moments and see what she shall do. It is October 31st. Jill makes her move. As the raven feathers and gold sky, day turns to night. Jill leaves her house and comments to herself about how freezing it is outside. What a wonderful night to wear a tank top, Jill thought sarcastically. Sarcastically. As she opened the shiny onyx door of her pitch black convertible. She looks at the map and thinks, Man, how long will it take to get to this freak house? She drives her pitch black convertible down to the house of the spirit, occasionally taking glasses at the map. <laughs> when she drives into the graveyard, she feels the presence of a ghoul. Must be my imagination, said the shuddering, terrified voice of Jill. I have to keep going. Rain hears a car coming up, and it is her instinct to hide. What is that? She said aloud. It seemed impossible for Jill not to find Rain. As Jill searches the surroundings of the house, she finds a terrified face of Rain. Who are you? Questions Rain. My name is Jill. As Jill says that, the scream of a little girl fills the sky. An excruciating pain shot to both of the girl's ears. Annabelle! Yelled Abraham. Annabelle, where are you? I'm right here, said the little girl, Annabelle. Child, what is wrong with you? You know as well as I do that we have intruders outside, re reprimanded Abraham. Father, do not call me a child. I am 371 years old, and I should be revered by you and that filthy animal, Virgil, as she said. Virgil appears beside her. My lord, said Abraham, I'm sorry. I do not want to have gotten into my sweet little girl. As he says it, Virgil slaps Annabelle across the face, and she faints. Stupid little girl, mutters Virgil. Annabelle. Oh, Abraham starts yelling. Do not ever, ever touch my daughter again. Virgil. <laughs> the knees, Abraham in his stomach, and he also faints to the floor. Are you here for the same reason I am? asked Jill. I'm going to break into this house. 
I might be. I'm here to kill the vampires that inhabit this house of death as it's rain. Vampires? Ha! You know as well as I do that vampires don't exist. Stupidly, little girl, says Rain, just as Bird Little told Annabelle. Are you actually being sick? Jail is interrupted. As a shadow puts her into the house. No! yelled Rain. The beings of the Shadowland live here too, thought Rain. This be one fun party, yells Rain out <laughs> loud as she kicks down the front entrance of the house. The next thing Jill saw was a mirror. The mirror was strange. She had no reflection. She feels her way around the dark room and eventually finds the door. She is led to another dark room, and she, she, but she makes out a faint figure. All she can make out is the... Is his long, silky hair and the face. He had a face that seemed to be sculpted by a Greek god. Greetings, <laughs> said Virgil. Who are you? asked Jill. Me? That is not important. The real question is, who are you? Jill replies, me? My name is Jill. Jill, you say? That is a very beautiful name. Such a name. It isn't yours anymore. From now on, your name is Vera. <laughs> Vera yells. <laughs> who are you to tell me who I am? Me? You dare ask that question again? Well, I guess you do deserve an answer. I'm Virgil, your vampiric father. You see, I changed you to your now more superior form. You saw it yourself. You have no reflection. You are clearly a vampire, are you not? Said Virgil. No, I'm not by no means one of those dark creatures. Vampires, screamed Vera. And of the wakes, dazed by the slap, she travels to the entrance of the house. As she says as a human, Rain, the last thing animal sees is the remark on Rain's face as she is shot by the silver bullet. Rain makes an arrogant remark. One down, three to go. Rain is suddenly confronted by a shadow creature. These things can't be harmed. I must move on, says Rain. Rain starts running through the corridors of the house. Shadow creatures pop up occasionally. What is this? I thought the only inhabitants of this house were vampires, yelled Rain. Abraham suddenly pops up next to Virgil. I shall never let you harm me or any of my family ever again, he yells Abraham as he punches Virgil in the face. Your family? I am your family, says Virgil, clearly unfazed. By the day, Abe, do not try. Do not dare to blemish my face ever, for I am your lord. You obey me or be punished, declares Virgil as he physically destroys Abraham. I sense that childish little girl, Annabelle, die earlier. Must be the work of rain. Rain, now on. One on one. You and me, I shall avenge my sister, screamed Virgil. I've got to find Jill. She has to be in one of those rooms. She has to be, yells Rain, as she breaks open every door down the corridor. When she gets to the last door, she sees a vampire sprawling out, out of the floor. Rain, save me, yells Vera. Who are you? Christian, <laughs> Rain, I'm. I'm Jill. Remember me? That creature who I suspect owns this house changed me into a vampire, says Burra, as she bursts out crying. Please, you said you were a vampire killer. End my life, please, says Burra. All right, I'm sorry for this, but one less vampire in this world means one more life saved, says Rain, as she shoots Burra in the heart. Virgil quietly waits in this throne room. She will make her way down here. She has to! Rain is running down the corridors, and she gets to a gold door. She opens and finds her way into a throne room. Welcome, says Virgil. Die, yells Rain. Virgil disappears and reappears right behind her. Now, it is a time. It is to avenge. My dear sister, <laughs> yells Virgil. Rain shoots randomly and misses every time. Virgil screams randomly <laughs> and narrowly misses Rain every time. When one fights a battle, that person intends to win. It doesn't seem like this will be a very long battle. As soon as Virgil shoots, Bur as soon as Rain shoots Virgil, taking life, Virgil slashes Rain. Sister, you all avenge, were Virgil's last words as he faded into the oblivion. Rain, however, knows that there is no way to make it out of this situation alive. She takes her own life. The end.
damn. That story sucked ball.